time to go to Atlanta. The Super Bowl week is in full swing. The game is coming up. Meg Oliver joins us. And Meg, you are living the sports fan's dream. You're in the Super Bowl city. I think a lot of people are curious with this game. Are you seeing more Patriots jerseys or more Rams jerseys? You know, the Rams just moved to LA. Patriots fans may be burned out on what, their ninth Super Bowl in 20 years. I don't think so, David. Let me tell you, this is, we're standing at the NFL experience where thousands of people have come in to try their hand at uh, throwing a good Hail Mary pass, maybe trying to kick an extra point. And at first, I think at the beginning of the week, we saw a lot of Rams fans, but in just the last hour, I would say I have seen dozens and dozens of paths fans come in here. Maybe it's Friday, maybe they decided to fly down or c come on over, but I would say the territory now is pretty evenly split. And I want to show you a few things that are going on here that are it's pretty unique. Wilson, the maker of footballs, they have set up this factory of sorts. And as you can see here, it starts at the sewing machine. And then as you move down the line over here, they steam the football, they turn the football, and finally, they start stitching it up, and I think, David, by this point, they have made at least 500 footballs uh, to date. They've been extremely busy. Huge moneymaker over here for Wilson. So we've heard a lot about Atlanta weather. You are indoors. Is the weather pretty good? And if the weather gets bad, is there enough stuff to do indoors that doesn't really matter? Yeah, actually, the weather has completely improved. When we first got here, it was freezing cold. I had my parka on from New York. And then today, we came outside. Uh, there were people in shorts, actually. It was almost 50 degrees, a little bit warmer. The sun was out. And this is one of the first days I think a lot of people are enjoying Super Bowl Live outside. Um, there are concerts out there and a lot of food trucks. And so if you get tired in here, and by the way, this place alone could take you at least two days to go through everything. This is about 800,000 square feet, close to 14 football fields long, and people are having the time of their life. Let me take you over here. I'm going to show you one of these uh, drills that they're doing. This is a, a touch and pass. Are you getting ready to go try this out? Yes. Who are you rooting for? Uh, oh, the Rams or the Patriots? The Rams. Rams. Oh, okay. All right. See, I mean, there are a lot of Rams fans around here, but let's take a look. We've got some gentlemen over here, not to put them on the spot, but let's see. Let's see how they do. Here we go. He's going to go for it. David, what do you think? You think he can make it here? No. I don't know. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh, David. No. <laughs> hey, 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 you are on Facebook live right here, dude. Nice. That was awesome. What is your name? Jamal, my name is Jamal. Okay, you know David there in Salt Lake didn't think you were going to make it. You think you can do another one? Watch try it. All right, all right, all right. Let's see it. Watch. Here he goes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> two for two. Right. Good job. Congrats. Who are you Who are you rooting for? Oh, uh, going inside to go with the Patriots. Patriots? Okay, I got one Rams fan, one Patriots fan. So it's pretty evenly split there, David. What are you expecting? You hear anything? You, you see any of uh, the ex-players walking around? Because they're usually there promoting something, selling something. They're everywhere, right? Um, Radio Row, they're on Radio Row talking about it. Um, and they're also milling around here. They're on every sports show. Everybody's analyzing it. What's going to be the final score? Who's going to win? Who's going to have the ball last? I sat down with Tony Romo earlier in the week. And a reporter put him on the spot and said, look, you're getting all this you know, publicity about making predictions. Will you make a final prediction of the score of the game? He, they didn't ask him to see who would win. And he went on and said, 28-24, the losing team would have the ball last. So um, there's something to go on. I mean, you never know with Tony. I, I love the fact that he would go out and give the score like that. He didn't even hesitate. David? Not bad. I like it. I like it. So what's been, I mean, you're working, so it's not all play, but this is a pretty good week of work when you're in television. What's been your favorite part of the week? Oh my gosh, David, there's been so many fun things. I tried the Hail Mary challenge yesterday. I'm a little sore. <laughs> um, it took a few tries, but I finally made it. And then we also, I took a shot at kicking the extra point and I, I didn't know how hard that was. Uh, but I finally got it over the uprights, and I'm not going to try that again because it was too difficult. But this is one big playground, right? I mean, if you like 
football, if you like entertainment, it's just all kind of a mix. It's all coming together here, and it's just been a great, great assignment. Yeah, I, I was going to ask you who's the biggest star you've seen because there's not just sports stars there, there's other stars, but we, once you drop Tony Romo, I figure that's probably the star of the week. You've been able to, you know, see any <laughs> other celebs walking around? I think so, I think so. And, you know, I haven't, but I've been working very, you know, I've been very hard at work here at the NFL Experience. But um, Tony Romo, I think, has to be the biggest star that I have talked to and that I've sat down with. And that's really one of the only people when you, oh, I don't want to go into that guy's live shot. Let's come on over here. Um, Tony Romo could not be nicer. He's so humble. Um, and he doesn't like to hog the spotlight. He really wants to share it. And there's so much talk about him and Jim Nance being this dynamic duo. And when I asked Tony about it, I'm like, what's the secret to your chemistry? He said, oh, he's just, he's just that guy. You know, Meg, you just, he's that guy. Everybody wants to be that guy. Um, and they just have such a natural bond and a natural friendship that it really shows through. And it's really fun to watch them. And I can't wait to listen to them call this game. All right. Well, Meg, thanks for a few minutes there at the Super Bowl experience in Atlanta. And uh, do you get to go to the game or do you fly home and you're home on Sunday when the game finally kicks off? Oh, no, no. I'm going to the game. David, I, as a sports anchor, who are you predicting? Who do you think is going to win? I think, it, I think it will be the Patriots, but I think the Rams have the recipe the Giants have when the Giants beat uh -huh. the Patriots in two Super Bowls. That pass rush with four guys, if they get to Tom Brady, then the Rams have a really good chance. Uh -huh. But people don't usually get to Tom Brady. That's why they're back in the Super Bowl again. So I'll take the Patriots, but uh, it's a tough call. It's a good game. I know. It should be a good game. Thanks, Meg. All right. It was great talking to you. See you later. See you.